Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision. Today I want to show you how to make a donut text in Illustrator. So let's do this. So first thing, let's uh, put this on the fill. So right now we have both fill and stroke. I'm going to double click on the fill, select the black color, click OK. Going to click on the stroke, click on this none. So it's going to disappear. Click back on the fill so it's on the top. And now we can do the magic. We're going to go here and long press where's the rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. And now we're gonna go to the effects 3D and revolve. Okay, so as you can see, now we already have a little bit of donut. I can rotate this so you can see it better. We got the offset, it's on zero and you just need to increase this. Whoa, this is too much. Uh, I'm gonna make it around 110 something like this and also let's increase the perspective so it's going to look even cooler look at that i might decrease the offset there you go i'm gonna go with 110 in perspective i'm gonna click ok i'm gonna put this aside now let's make a text uh, i'm gonna press the letter t or you can go and select the type tool click and just type in whatever you want. I'm gonna use the, 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 the blah, drag text wide. And I'm gonna press caps lock. So in my brand's name, there's like two names, Panther and Vision. In this case, I'm gonna use it vice versa, Vision Panther, and I'm gonna use it two times like this. Okay, so this is the trick because it's gonna go uh, round and round and uh, the Panther is gonna be more visible if I put it this way. Uh, okay, I'm gonna expand this, click on object, expand, click OK. Uh, I'm gonna press and hold Alt, create a copy, also press and hold Shift and put a little bit of distance in between the letters, not too much because if, if, it, if it's gonna be stretched around those uh, circular areas, you know, it's gonna put even more distance that way. Uh, I'm gonna try it out like this with this uh, distance. And see what happens. Gonna, gonna create more copies. Press and hold Alt. And then Control D. Control D again. We got one, two, three. Okay, eight. There you go. I'm gonna make sure that uh, they are spaced correctly. I'm gonna select this a vertical distribute center. Okay. Right click, group. Gonna select the color. Gonna go with pink. There you go. Okay, uh, from this we're gonna make symbols out of this. So go to the symbols, which is uh, here. If you don't have the symbols, go to Windows and select the symbols, which is located right here. All right, select the text and drag it in to the symbols panel. Rename it, text two, click OK. I'm gonna select the donut now. Go here, where's the appearance? If you don't have the appearance, go to Windows and select appearance. Appearance basically has the effects that you applied on the shape, so you can uh, recustomize it here. As you can see, here's the 3D Revolve. I'm gonna click on it, and I have the options from the 3D Revolve. I'm gonna click on Map Art, click on None, and select the text, and press and hold Shift, scale the text down. Okay, looking good. So as you can see here and here, the text, they don't have space between because I went out all the way. I'm gonna break the rule in typography and you know just squeeze it a little more. I'm gonna click OK and rotate this so the panther is gonna be on front. Panther is visible as you can see here. This is the back side of the circle, which is not good. Let me see the perspective. You can modify the perspective and the offset in order to make that disappear. See that? I put it on 88 and now basically it cleared out. So yeah, if you want to expand it, you can also expand this. Uh, I'm going to create a new copy so you can see it. I'm going to go to Object, Expand Appearance. From here, right click on Group, right click on Group, right click Release Clipping Mask. So I'm going to select the text in here. You basically need to clean up these areas also. Actually, I'm going to remove this. There you go. These still need to be cleaned out. 
so mainly this was it uh yeah thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the other videos as well and have a great day bye bye